Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and I hope that you are all doing fine. Now in our video today, we're going to talk about the two of the most common visas in Vietnam, namely the tourist and the business visa. If you are going to travel in Vietnam, you have to remember that it is crucial to understand your legal situation before your departure. In case a visa is required to your entry into Vietnam, you definitely should know which type of visa fit your purpose and your itinerary to avoid any unexpected problems and also save time and cost. For Filipinos, we are allowed to or permitted to stay in Vietnam for 21 days without visa. But if you wish to stay longer, you can extend your visa either tourist or business time. To begin with, we're going to talk about the tourist visa or in Vietnamese term, they call it as Zulik. Kaya kung makikita ninyo yung mga tourist visa na nakalagay doon, DL. I don't know if tama yung pagkakabikas ko, but according to my Vietnamese friend, it is read as Zulik. So ano nga ba itong tourist visa? A tourist visa is issued to those who are traveling to Vietnam for tourism only and not for doing any business in the country. Depending on the availability and number of entries, a Vietnam tourist visa can be divided into first, one month single entry visa, second, one month multiple entry visa, pangatlo, three months single entry visa, and lastly, three months multiple entry visa. And the cost will vary depending on the length and validity of the visa. Pag ang visa mo ay one month lamang, mas mababa ang iyong babayaran. Pag one month pero multiple entry, mas mahal. At lalong mas mahal kapag three months single entry or three months multiple entry visa. In a while, pag uusapan natin anong ibig sabihin ito mga single entry at multiple entry visa. At the moment, there are three ways to get a visa or a tourist visa to Vietnam. Namely, number one, getting a Vietnam visa on arrival or yung tinatawag nilang VOA. Pangatlawa, getting a Vietnam visa in the embassy. Pangatlo, getting a Vietnam e-visa which is available for one month single entry and for the nationals of 80 countries where the Philippines is a part of. Ano nga ba itong tinatawag na VOA or Vietnam Visa on Arrival? VOA or Vietnam Visa on Arrival is highly recommended for those traveling to Vietnam by air. To be able to get the visa stamp at the airport, travelers need to make an online appointment either via agent or agency to get the visa approval letter beforehand. Upon arrival at any airport in Vietnam, travelers need to show the letter to the immigration officer to be checked and have the visa stamped on their original passport. While in the Philippines, you can already apply for your visa letter. You can contact a legit or legitimate visa agent and have your visa letter processed. The normal processing of the letter is 5 to 7 days. You should request a letter 2 weeks or even a month prior to your flight. All you need to submit is a photocopy of your passport, the date of your arrival as indicated in your plane ticket, and of course, your payment. For the payment, you can pay in the Western Union or through your credit card or ask a friend in Vietnam to pay it for you. Once your letter is approved, the agent will send it to you by email and print the letter and bring it during your travel. And here is a step or the step in getting a VOA or the Vietnam Visa on Arrival which is applicable to both tourist and business visas. Number one, request for the visa approval letter. So, pwede kang makipag-contact sa isang legitimate na agency or agent para gawan ka ng 
visa approval letter. Ang ginagawa ng mga agent or agency, sila yung nag apply sa Vietnam Immigration on your behalf para ikaw ay mabigyan ng visa approval letter. Without the visa approval letter, hindi ka makakakuha ng visa sa Vietnam. Number two, print the letter. One to two copies will do. Tapos, alalahanin natin na hindi pwedeng ipresenta natin yung mga screenshot o yung in-email ng agent. You really need to print the letter to be presented to the immigration. Number three, you also need to prepare a passport size picture. And this is the visa stamping process in the airport. Number one, present your visa approval letter along with your passport and picture to the immigration officer. So, pagdating mo ng Vietnam, paglapag ng aeroplano, pupunta ka doon sa immigration section ng Vietnam kung saan doon ka mag exit So, dapat daladala mo na yung iyong passport, ang iyong visa approval letter, and then ang picture, tapos ang iyong bayad, which is 25 dollars. Pwede kang magbayad using a dollar or Vietnamese dumb. So, ikaw convert mo lang kung magkano ang $25 into Vietnamese dumb at the present moment sa pagbayad mo during the time na nagbayad ka. Number three, after that one, after matatakan ng immigration officer ang iyong passport at malagyan ng sticker, you can claim your passport and then you should check your visa before you're going to leave the immigration counter. The second most popular type of Vietnam visa naman is the business visa which is granted to those who are entering in Vietnam for the business purposes including exploring business potentialities, setting up industrial venture, purchasing or selling merchandise, attending conferences or meetings, signing business contracts, working with the Vietnamese enterprises and others. As such, this kind of visa is also referred to by many as Vietnam Work Visa, Working Visa, or Job Visa. The shortcut for this is DN, or in their terms, it's Zanyep. Zanyep? Zanyep? Ewan ko kung tama yung pagkakabigkas ko. Well, anyway, let's proceed. And just like tourist visa, the business visa also depends on the validity and the number of entries. And these are divided into one month single entry visa, one month multiple entry visa, three months single entry visa, and three months multiple entry visa. At the moment, there are two ways to get a business visa, which is first, getting a VOA or Vietnam visa on arrival. And number two, getting a visa at the Vietnamese Embassy or Vietnam Embassy. And now let's talk about the length of stay, the number of entries, and the validity of these kind of visas. The following are applicable to both tourist and business visas. Number one, one month single entry. Ibig sabihin, you are allowed to stay in Vietnam for one month and only enter the country once. So kapag nag-exit ka, either sa Pilipinas or sa ibang bansa, automatically, yung one month single entry mo ay wala nang visa. So the moment na babalik ka ulit ng Vietnam, you need to get another visa. Pangalawa, one month multiple entries. Ang one month multiple entries naman, it allows you to stay in Vietnam for one month and enter and leave the country several times. Malimbawa, ang hawak mo ay multiple entry visa for one month at gusto mong pumunta ng Cambodia, pumunta ng Malaysia o pumunta ng Thailand. Pagbalik mo, hindi mo kinakailangan kumuha ng bagong visa kasi nga, you are holding a multiple entry visa. So, yun ang pagkakaiba nila ni single at ni multiple. Pangatlo naman, 3 months single visa. 
It allows you to stay in Vietnam for three months and enter the country one. So, kagaya lang siya ni one month, single entry. Kaso lang, siya ay three months. The other one is one month. And the three months multiple entries. It allows you to stay in Vietnam for three months and enter and leave the country several times. And here are the tips and reminders. Number one, tourist and business visa has different prices. Business visa letter and stamp is more expensive. Yung tourist visa medyo mas mura. Ang business visa naman ay medyo mahal. But take note that the price will change without prior notice. That's number two. Kasi nga nakadepende yan sa mga amendment na gagawin ng Vietnam Immigration Authority. Number three, do not put your visa letter on your luggage. Halimbawa, mula ka sa Pilipinas, magbiyahe ka ng Vietnam. So, wag mong ilagay doon sa luggage mo. Tapos, ipapa-check-in mo yung luggage mo. Kasi, pag ginawa mo yun, hindi mo makukuha ang iyong letter upon your exit doon sa immigration ng Vietnam. Kasi, ang pinakalast mong kukunin sa paglabas mo ng airport sa Vietnam is ang iyong luggage. So, kapag hindi mo yan dala, hindi ka makakakuha ng tinatawag nating visa on arrival doon sa airport. Kagaya ng nangyari sa akin. Nilagay ko ang aking visa letter without my knowledge. I was thinking that I am bringing my visa approval letter along with my all other documents. But then, to find out, doon ko pala siya nalagay sa luggage. Tapos, na-check-in ko na yung luggage. Sa so, pagdating ko ng Vietnam airport, that's the time that I realized na hindi ko pala daladala with my hand carry baggage ang aking visa letter, visa approval letter. So, yun. Hindi ako nakakuha ng 3 months na visa sa airport. At ito ang masaklap. Kapag once nag-exit ka na doon sa immigration, tapos natatakan ka na ng immigration ng 21 days, hindi ka pwedeng bumalik. Like sasabihin mo, kukunin mo yung letter from your bag, tapos balik ka ng immigration. That is not allowed. Once na lumampas ka na doon sa immigration counter ng Vietnam, ibig sabihin, wala nang visa ang iyong visa approval letter. Number four, do not show it to the immigration in the Philippines. Kasi kapag pinakita mo yan sa immigration ng Pilipinas na may uh, visa approval letter ka, automatically ma-offload ka. Number five, once you forget your visa letter and you have passed in the immigration, your letter will become automatically invalid. Gaya ng nasabi ko kanina. Number six, you can pay using a dollar or dom. So, convert mo lang. If you're holding a dom, then you pay dom. But if you're holding dollar, of course, bayaran mo ng dollar. They, they accept both currencies. Number seven, photocopy or print your visa approval letter because hindi pwedeng ang ipakita natin ay yung screenshot. Pag tayo ay sa airport, Ang ating letter is pwede lang photocopy or printed. Kapag naman tayo ay nasa border, mga land border, ang ating letter dapat original. Number 8, you need to print out your letter because your screenshot is not allowed. Number 9, get visa on arrival and save time and money. Bakit nga? Baka kasi hindi ka na magi exit Once nag-expire na yung 21 days, hindi ka na magi exit Kasi kapag nag-exit ka, ba you need to have a budget para sa pamasahe, para sa iyong visa letter, at para sa iba pang mga gastos at babayarin doon sa border kung saan ka mag exit Number 10, for Filipinos, only 3 months visa is allowed for us. We cannot avail the 6 months or 1 year. Kasi ang 1 year na yan at ang 6 months para lang yan sa mga native English speakers. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-avail niyan. And here are the frequently asked questions about the tourist and the business visas in Vietnam. Number one, can I enter Vietnam without the visa? Of course, for Filipinos like us, we are allowed to stay in Vietnam for 21 days without visa. Free po yan. As in, walang babayaran ni piso or ni isang kusing. Number two, how to extend visa in Vietnam? So, pwedeng mag-extend tayo by air or by land. 
If you are in Ho Chi Minh City, pwede kang mag-exit by land going to the border of Mukbay in Cambodia. If ikaw ay nasa Hanoi, pwede kang mag-exit by land border sa Lao. If you want to exit naman by air, so pwede kang pumunta ng Thailand, in Malaysia, kung ay sa kahit sa bansa as long as you can you can afford but wag lang sa Pilipinas kasi pag sa Philippines of course hindi ka na makakabalik number 3 what kind of visa can i avail so pwedeng 21 days pwedeng 1 month 2 months 3 months tourist or business visa depende ko ano yung ma afford mo number 4 when should i extend or should i exit for my visa Diba? 21 days ka lang, the free sa Vietnam. So, one week pa lang before mag-expire ang iyong visa, kinakailangan mo nang mag-request ng visa approval letter for your visa extension. Huwag mo nang hintayin na masagad yung 21 days sa ka magre-request ng visa letter. Kasi yung visa letter, it will take 5 to 7 working days bago siya ma-approve. Now, let's take for example na nag-expire na ang iyong 21 days. Saka ka lang nag-request ng visa approval letter. So, ibig sabihin, maghihintay ka pa ng 5 to 7 days, saka ka mag-i-exit. Pagdating ngayon doon sa immigration, makikita ng immigration na nag-overstay ka na sa Vietnam for 7 days. May penalty po yan. Pagkakaalam po, it's around 200 VND per day. In peso, that is around 450 pesos. 430, 450 pesos. Mga ganyan. So, susumahin mo yan. 200 VND times 7 days na excess na pagstay mo sa, sa Vietnam. So, magbabayad ka ng medyo malaki. So, take note on that. Number 5. If my 21 days is expired already, can I get another 21 days? Yes, pwede. So, ang gagawin mo, mag exit ka via air or via border. Tapos, magpa-extend ka lang ng another 21 days. No need for a visa letter. Just simply go to the border, exit, and come back to Vietnam. And you can do that in just one day. Hindi nga tat magtatagal yan ng mga one hour. Maybe like 30 minutes, matagal na yan. So, tapos balik ka ng Vietnam ulit. For example, kapag ikaw ay nasa Ho Chi Minh City, so, punta ka ng Mukbay. Pagdating mo doon sa immigration ng Vietnam, papakita mong passport mo, tatakan nila na nag-exit ka ng Vietnam, punta ka ulit doon sa kabila, doon sa immigration ng Cambodia, tatakan ng Cambodia doon na nag-enter ka ng Cambodia. Tapos, just turn around, bigay mo na naman ang passport mo doon sa Officer, immigration officer ng Cambodia, tatakan nila ulit na nag-exit ka ng Cambodia, tapos balik ka doon sa border or doon sa opisina sa immigration ng Vietnam, bigay mo ulit passport mo, tatakan nila ng another 21 days. And that's it. Number 6, what is the difference between tourist and the business visa? So sa pangalan pala ng mga visa na ito, klaro ang kanilang mga purposes. Of course, Tourist visa is only for tourism. Kung ikaw ay pupunta ng Vietnam para ikaw ay mag-tour or maging turista lamang. Hindi ka magtatrabaho. And the business visa naman, if pupunta ka ng Vietnam for the purpose of business, business venture or whatever kind of business you will have, you will do in Vietnam, then you need to have the business visa. Number seven, can I work in Vietnam if I'm holding a tourist visa? So, legally speaking, hindi talaga siya pwede kasi nga yung tourist visa is ginagrant lamang kung ikaw ay magtuturista sa Vietnam. So, kung ikaw ay magtatrabaho, you need to have another kind of visa which is the working visa. So, hindi pwede yung tourist visa lang. Although, merong iba na inaalaw pero legally speaking, Hindi siya pwede at medyo delikado kapag ikaw ay nagtrabaho na ang daladala or ang hawak mong visa ay tourist visa. Number 8, what do you mean by single or multiple entries? With a single entry, you can enter Vietnam once. As soon as you leave the country, the visa expires. With a multiple entry, you can enter Vietnam several times within the validity period. 
This is ideal for the travelers who want to do a short visit to a neighboring country, for example, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, or kahit saan pang bansa. Number 9. How long in advance can I apply for my visa on arrival or VOA? You can start the application 3 months, 6 months, or 12 months in advance. Kahit pa sa 2020 pa ang travel mo, pwede ka nang mag-request ng visa on arrival today. Number 10. Is it possible to arrive before the arrival date that I applied for my approval letter? The answer is no. You cannot arrive earlier than the date mentioned or stated in your letter. For example, ang nakasaad sa iyong letter ay ang arrival date mo in Vietnam is January 5, 2020. Kinakailangang January 5, 2020 ka rin pumunta ng Vietnam. Yun din ang iyong Arrival date. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-arrive ng Vietnam o pumunta ng Vietnam in advance. For example, January 2, 3, or 4. Kung anong nakasaad sa visa letter, yun ang iyong sundin. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-advance. Number 11. Is it allowed to present the documents digitally at the airport on arrival? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Because all documents must be printed to receive your visa. The application form must even be printed twice. Minsan, along with the visa approval letter, may i-attach doon ang agent na tinatawag nating application form. So you need to print that out. Fill upan mo na para pagdating mo ng immigration counter, hindi ka na pipil up pa at uh, mag aaksaya ng oras. So you have to print that out and fill up the form already. And don't forget to print everything na kinakailangan mong i-print. Number 12. Is it possible to fly to another airport than the one that I filled on my application form? Yes, of course. Pwede yan. That's no problem at all. As long as you enter Vietnam via international airport, you can apply your visa. Make sure that you have all the printed documents and the correct documents. You can enter in any of the following airports. Noi Bai in Hanoi, Tan Son Yat Airport in Ho Chi Minh, Phu Quoc, Da Nang, and Cam Ranh. Number 13, what is a stamping fee at bakit kinakailangan natin magbayad ng stamping fee? Ang stamping fee is the amount that you pay to the Vietnamese government for visa processing at the airport. After the payment, you get your stamp in your passport and you can enter Vietnam. For single entry, the costs are $25 per visa and for a multiple, $50 per visa. So make sure that you have this amount in USD or in Vietnamese DOM. Kinakailangan din remember also na ang iyong hawak na pera ay sakto kasi minsan pag nasa border ka hindi nila bibigay yung sukli. And then for the airport that is $25 for single pero kapag sa border ka it's $35. Merong dagdag na pen dollars and for ano naman for the multiple pag sa airport 50 dollars however kapag nasa border ka it will become 60 dollars number 14 the information in the approval letter is incorrect what should i do example mali yung petsa or mali yung pangalan mo anything basta may mali may error sa letter so ano ang gagawin first if there is an error in your approval letter, like the topographical error, you should contact your agent directly para ma-correct. The letter is not valid, remember, once may mali. So, the immigration will refuse your letter. Hindi ka mabibigyan ng visa sa Vietnam. So, always check the information in your letter if it is right and then kung may mali ipa-correct muna sa yung agent or sa agency do not wait until your departure date so right away i-inform mo si agent na may mali number 15 what convenience will it give you if you are going to apply for VOA procedure compared to the Vietnamese embassy or consulate so ito yung mga advantages. 
First, the cost is lower with the VOA procedure kasi nga hindi ka na mag exit You can apply easily online. So, all, all the transactions are done online. You don't need to go personally to the immigration or to the Vietnamese consulate to apply it for yourself. The agent will do it for you. Next, you don't have to send or to give your original passport to the agent. Photocopy only. You can do the VOA procedure from anywhere in the world when arriving on the airport in Vietnam. You will have to wait for your visa to be ready. The waiting time is between 10 to 15 minutes depending on how many co-applicants are there. You can give documents to the visa officer and wait for your visa to be ready so you don't have to wait in line. Number 16, what is the meaning of visa approval letter? The visa approval letter is the letter issued by the Vietnamese Immigration Department which allows you to get a visa on arrival at an international airport in Vietnam. In this letter, you'll find some of your personal details in the validity period of your Visa. So, ito yung letter na kinakailangang dala-dala mo na from the Philippines wherein you're going to show it along with all other necessary documents para makareceive or makakuha ka ng visa. Number 17, is the visa approval letter actually my visa? No. The visa approval letter is the authorization letter that you can get or collect your visa at the airport. Hindi po ito yung actual mo na Visa. Ang visa po ay nakapaskil doon sa ating passport. Number 11, from where can I apply for a VOA? So you can apply for your visa on arrival letter online. All you need to do is to contact or to coordinate with a legit agent and legit agency. And then they're going to process your application in the Vietnam Immigration. Tapos once matapos na yan, isi-send yan ng agent sa iyo at yun ang iyong dapat i-print. Number 18, what information do I need to provide to apply for my Vietnam Visa Approval Letter? So, para makumpleto ang iyong online application, you need to provide the following details na dapat din congruent doon sa mga nakasaad na detalye sa iyong passport. First, full name. So, exactly as in your passport your date of birth, nationality, passport number, proposed arrival date, proposed exit date, and your pr purpose of your visit. Number 19, during visa extension, can I exit Vietnam later than the exit date granted on my visa approval letter? So no, you cannot do that. An earlier exit is allowed, but later exit is not allowed. In case you wish to stay longer than your visa expiry date, you are recommended to apply for a visa extension.